Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement a star scoring feature in our previous tutorial which is the level select menu. If you are interested, you can feel free to check out the tutorial at the link below. So let me explain a little bit how it is working. Basically, it's just like a, it will be a page by page level select menu and when we click a late, last level then it will unlock the next level so basically what we want to do in this tutorial is add a star feature on each level to show how many star the player score on that level so i have prepared a four type of sprite over here which is showing zero to three star so the first thing we need to do is go to our level button we need to create an ui image then we will use one of the sprite first uh, set the width in the correct size 113 and the height of 58 so let's move it above a little bit yep now we will remove this to uh, level star will be better. So this will be our prefect. So I'll create a new folder. We will call this prefect folder. Then we will drop the image we created just now. Cool. Then remove the image. Cool. Now we need to create a new script for this level star prefect. So create a new C sharp script. We call this level star, then double click to edit it. Mm. So the first thing we need to do, um, remove the update method, we are not using it. So we need to declare a sprite view, which is reference to the image sprites just now. We will call this star sprite 0, copy this and paste, repeat this until the star sprite 3. And we need another field public image. Uh, this image will be stand for the image of this sprite. So using unity engine.ui, cool. uh, remove the update start method also, we are not using these two. So create a new method, we will call this set star sprite. We shall take a integer star amount. So we are switch the star amount. If case equal to zero, then we are set the sprite to the star sprite zero. So we will repeat for all of the sprite. One, two, three. Make sure you change for the star sprite as well. Cool. Now our level star script is ready. Mm, go to our level button. As you can see, we need to modify the level button script as we want to create a star prefect over here. So we need a new field public game object. We'll call this level star prefect. Okay, then followed by a private view which is the level star script class object level star then on enable we will set the level star by instantiate the level star prefect so level star equal to instantiate the prefect at this game object dot transform so we will get component the level star object. Cool. Now when mm, during a setup, we require a integer level and also whether the level is unlocked. Now we need a new field called the star amount. So if the level is unlocked, we will of course set the star sprite by using the star amount 
So level star, dot, set star sprite, place a star amount inside, and we want to enable the level star object by setting active to true. If the level is still locked, then of course we will hide it by setting active equal to false. Yep, I think that's it for this level button script. Now we are here for the level menu script. During our refresh method, we will set up every level button on the page. So now we require another new field which is the star amount to set up the level button. Mm. So now the question is where do we get the star amount data? Where do we save it? The simplest way will be save it to player prep by using a key to for each level. You can also save the data in a JSON format, but for this tutorial, I'll be using a key for each level. So, we will create a method called private void. Mm, should be a integer because we want to get start by the level. So, this will be a return greater prep dot get integer then now we need a key value and I, that's it we are not required the default value so now we need to create a method to define the key for the level so we are calling this method get key which require a level then return a string level uh, Underscore we are by adding the level between and followed by a star text. So the result will be something like this level 3 star. Yep. So now our get key will be called it in our prayer prep get integer by placing the level parameter. So now we can create another method private void set star then this will take a level and also the star amount for this we just need to call the prayer prep dot set integer mm, get the key by using the method then followed by the star amount cool. now our set star get star is ready then on the set up method we can call the get star by placing the level inside. So this is how we set the star data into our prayer prep. Mm, let me check. Mm, the unlock level actually should be in I mean in the prayer prep also but we leave it for now first so let's go back to unity then let me try to test it oh um, make sure you select all your level button then place our level star prefect into our prefect field mm, let me check if I miss out anything also or oh, we need to add the level star script to our level star prefect level, level star yep then we need to set each of the sprite 2 and 3 lastly the image will be the prefect itself cool now we are ready to test it let me clear the arrow so cool it's working fine let's try to click the yes it will unlock the next level as you can see now we need to create a method to add the star amount so at our, our star level method start level method 
previously was just unlock a level. Now we will increase the level star by one. So we need to declare a yeah, integer star and call the get star method by, by placing the level. Then we will increase this amount by one. But we will use the max function to claim the value because the minimum value of the star is 0 and the maximum will be 3. So this will be the star plus 1, the mean value 0 and 3 max. So now after we have added 1 star, we will call the set star, set the current level star by the star amount. So now we will take out this refresh method and since we need to call it every time this level trigger this method is just a test method so basically it will not assist in your project I think so let me try to test it cool let us try to click cool one star two star three star yep cool one star two star three star yep yeah, everything is working fine. Cool, cool, cool. So this is how we implement a star score feature into our level menu page. So this is this will be a simple method. Um, if you want to save the data into a JSON format, because currently we are setting each level by using a key for each level to our player prep, you may want to. Uh, set into a set the all the levels star into an array, then convert it to JSON format. Then only set to player prep or set to a file or somewhere else on your server. Anywhere you like. Mm, if you have no idea how to set the JSON format into a file, you can check one of my tutorials also I have a tutorial showing the implementation how can you convert the data in the JSON format and save it into a file mm, so one last thing to be highlight is the unlock level value it should be save it to somewhere else also if not every time you start the start your project it will reset it back to your value from the inspector mm, so i think that's it for this tutorial i hope this tutorial helps you if it did please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel see you in the next video